Hi, I'm Erin Atkinson. I'm the Senior Account Specialist here at Dublin Dog Co. Today we're talking about collar sizing. One of the main reasons for exchanges here at Dublin Dog is due to collar sizing issues. A customer either buys a collar that's too large for their dog or too small for their dog. So, today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to find the perfect size collar for your dog. Okay, let's get started. From the All Style No Stink section on the Store tab, select your favorite collar. For me today, that's going to be the Sultan. You'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of the individual collar page, our collar sizing chart. For easy reference, we've listed the collar circumference or length, as well as the bandwidth. Still not sure of the perfect fit? Not a problem. Just simply click the orange highlighted copy that reads, Collar Sizing Instructions. This will bring up our handy dandy sizing template. Please note though, you'll need to have a PDF reader on your computer to view this file. So here's how this works. Choose the collar you feel would be the most appropriate size for your dog. For this example, we're going to use the medium template for my dog, Addy. Print out the corresponding page. Please make sure not to scale or resize the image while printing it out. This is very important. Next, you'll want to cut the template out with a pair of scissors and be sure to include the buckle area. Finally, line up the corresponding numbers to each other and tape them in place. For example, tape the one and the one on top of each other, covering the gray area. If you're cutting the large, then you'll do the same thing for the number two. You'll notice that the printed version of the collar lines up perfectly to our actual collar size. So this is my dog, Addie, and I'm going to fit her using the collar sizing template. I believe she's a size medium, so I'm going to check to be sure. And as you can see, she's about the second hole in. She could probably do the first hole too, but I'm going to try it on the second. It just depends on how tight you want your collar. So I'm going to try this on the second hole. It's a perfect fit, actually. I can fit some fingers underneath. It's not too tight. Uh, Addie could probably move up to a large as well, but there would be a lot more excess hanging over after the buckle. So it's up to you on how tight you want your collar to be. I think we're going to go with the medium. I hope this was helpful for all of you out there in choosing your next new all-style, no-stink dog collar. And on behalf of all of us here at Dublin Dog Co., we wish you all the luck in the world.